Welcome to MCSC TV. Now guys, do we need a new manager? Let's get into the video. Now guys, I'll quickly express my opinion. Now guys, some of you will have saw this title and already knew what I was going to say. It's obvious, isn't it? I've made so many videos on this guys and Obviously, I'm Connor again, so I don't feel we need a new manager. I think Chelsea have this attitude to just think, let's sack the manager, because you can't sack a full team. And I feel that, that it's time for that to change. I feel like we need to stick with the manager, bring in some new players and take it from there next season. Why on earth would you sack, um, sack a manager that's been at Chelsea for two seasons and just won two trophies in them two seasons? There's no logic behind getting rid of Connor. I know that some Chelsea fans may disagree, some fans want Con A to go, some fans want a, like a refresher, bring in a new manager, but I've supported Chelsea for a long time now guys and I know that bringing in a new manager will do nothing because if we bring in a new manager it'll probably last one or two seasons like the others have and then go again, like it's just ridiculous, we, we need to stick with a manager and that's it and I feel like why, I don't think we should give up on Conte in any way I mean we've won a trophy with him this last season that's been so why why get rid of him I feel like next season could be a good one if we stick with Conte for sure bring in some new players refresh the team spouse it up a bit bring back some of the youth team players that were out on loan last season and go for it again I mean bring back Kurt Zuma bring back Kennedy so many other youth team players that were out on loan bring them back and let's see what we can do with a new new players on board a bit of reshuffling and see what we can do right I don't see why the automatic response is let's sack the manager because actually that's not the right response in this situation I can understand why some Chelsea fans might want a new manager in to refresh things up and get things moving a bit more but at the end of the day they'll probably last five minutes and go again like all the rest have we need to stick with Conte and guys I am so passionate about this I feel like this is turned into a bit of a rant now but guys enough about my opinion I took to social media earlier I wanted to find out all of your opinions guys and I feel like this is such a controversial topic that I can't just really sit here and express my opinion it's not just about what I think it's also about what you guys think because as I said controversial topic I can't just have an opinion on this that's why I wanted to get you guys involved so I took to my Instagram emma8cfc and emma8cfc tv earlier to ask you guys what you thought do, do you think we need a new manager now guys I am so overwhelmed by how many comments I got I can't thank you all enough if and I am so sorry if I don't read out your comments. I did get so many that I just can't read all of them out. But I'm so appreciative. And it was really good to read them all. Like, it's very interesting to see what you guys think about this. Because, as I said, it's, it's such a massive controversial subject at the moment. Loads of Chelsea fans are talking about it. And I suppose we're all waiting on news of it as well. We want to know what's happening with our club, don't we? Like, uh, Chelsea's going to release anything soon? Like... You know, there's a lot going on at Chelsea at the moment, but I just feel like this this needs sorted out and we need to know what's happening. We need to know if Conte is staying or we're getting a new manager in. Now, a lot of Chelsea fans are saying Conte is already gone at the end of the season, but actually you don't know that. That's not a fact yet. That's, that's not written in writing yet. So we need to see what happens. But guys, I'm about to read out your comments. And as I said, thank you so much for sending them in. So guys... Daniel Stowell, 1995, said, I think we need a bit of a refresh, but Conte is a world-class manager. Um, Diego Rendez said, Honestly, I liked Conte, but every game I would watch would make me nervous because the other teams would be allowed to attack us and we we just sit back and defend. It was really nerve-wracking. I think we do need a change in philosophy a more attacking style and um, with the players we have we could bang in goals because we'd sorry guys I've lost where I am um because we'd have all the possession and not have to defend often so yeah fair enough thank you so much for that comment by the way actually that was really tactical and yeah true um Again, like I, I am, I'm not saying like I don't see from people's point of point of view, but the like all of the things that a lot of fans are saying, I, I can I can understand. But again, I'm still conning in. Um, 
Harry M. No, we don't need a new manager. Reese Barnett, love Con A, but if it means key players will leave, then we should replace the manager. Whatever happens, we need to spend big. For sure, we definitely need to spend big this summer. I definitely agree with that one. Um, I do feel like we we need a lot of players. Um, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not wanting Con A to go in anyway, but I do think that we need to add to what we've got, obviously, like, yeah. Um, Treeman Singh, no. Conte is a world-class manager and we know that because in his first season when we lost to Arsenal and Liverpool, he changed the system to a 3-4-3 and we were unstoppable as we went on a 13-game unbeaten run. Conte has proved he is a genius and after one bad season, we should not doubt him because he still won a trophy this season. Absolutely love that comment. Yes, you know it. Absolutely love that. Spot on. Um, Ala Paul 97, no, need a new board. Yeah, <laughs> again, agreed, <laughs> agreed. Um, for sure, yeah, just say it how it is, love that. Um, yeah, we, we, we do need a new board, really. Um, easier said than done, though, isn't it? Um, Genereef CF, you see, boy, it's either Sarri or Conte, I don't want anyone else. Yeah, but, yeah, fair enough. Um, but Sarri, I think he's off now anyway. So, yeah, Conte in all the way. Um, Vickers1992, no, we don't need a new manager. Um, Samarath Bedry, um, we need new attacking football. Fair enough. Um, Albert Tweaker, no, need a new board. Yeah, second person that said that, actually. Yeah, like... Honestly, because we all know there's a massive discrepancy between Conte and the board. So, yeah, fair enough. Ben Haywood, underscore BFC. It's the way it's the way you look at it. To be honest, I'd love to keep Conte. He's a good manager. But if he goes, who's next? Yeah, exactly. I mean, who is next? If, if Conte does go, who is next? Is it just going to be the same performance again? Because it will be. Like, we'll get in a new manager and then they might succeed. They might win a trophy and then they'll go again. We can't keep having this morality against managers like this. Like, it feels as though Chelsea are working against the managers at points. Chelsea should be working with the manager. And there's a lot of underlying issues in the club as to why things are going wrong and why things have gone wrong but yeah I just feel as though Conte hasn't got everything that he's wanted in this last season that's just been either so it's I suppose it's like that working between the board and Conte in some ways um oh. James.G26, yes and no. Reason is we need to keep hold of our good players and maybe getting a new manager or bring in players we need to get us back where we need to be. And everyone knows how we play now and that's what we we are against this season and we need to change how we play. Yeah, for sure. Um, it would be interesting to see what would happen in the new coming season um, if Conte does stay as to what happens with the playing style because obviously we've made a few errors this season that's been. Obviously that's clear. I mean, we, we lost against teams like Bournemouth. Like, no disrespect to them. And Watford, it wasn't good enough. So we'd obviously have to... As I said earlier in the video, reassess our movements, change formations and stuff. But again, I'm still Conte in. Um, big habit, I think we don't need a new manager, fair enough. Um, Craig Old, 28. No, we need an, a new handful of players to book up their... No, sorry. I've read that wrong. Craig Old at 28, no, we need a handful of players to book up their ideas and realise they have the best job in the world and there is a lot worse than Con A. Absolutely love that. Again, absolutely perfect comment. Like, it's true, isn't it? I mean, I'm not saying that... I, well, I am saying, this is really controversial, some of the players did stop playing for Con A at the end of the season, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of them players need to book up their ideas. And I don't like it when the stats have become this division between the manager and the players. I hate it when that happens. So, yeah, I 100% agree with that. Um, Mac underscore 09. We need some someone who can give Chelsea titles. Zidane will be a good replacement. Fair enough. Um... 
Adam, oh, hang on. Night, no, sorry. Night 1041. We need a new board before we get a new manager. Fair enough. Um. Oh, that was a really true comment, actually. Where, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm really struggling to use this with so many comments. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm being quite slow. I just, I've lost where that comment was now. Yeah, I love it. Um, Kiran Tariq. No, we've had too many managers. He needs protection from the media. The media attacked him so much that he was trying to protect himself instead of winning games. Also, it seems like Marina is against him instead of working with him. So my opinion is that we don't need a new manager. We need to work with the one we have. Absolutely, 100% love that. Amazing. Again, perfect comment. I mean, I 100% agree with that. As I said earlier, the manager needs to work with the board, with Chelsea. It feels as though there's such a division between both of them. And that's why it's become such an issue. Now, guys, I am going to quickly read out um, the comments that I also got on my MSCSC TV account. Um, just bear with me. I'm just changing up. Right. Um, Martin... A Glesby, no, we should give Conte longer to improve the team. Again, yeah, fair enough. Um, oh, love this comment, actually. Lady Paliksha, no, just let Conte decide on the summer transfers himself, not the stupid board. Again, love that. Conte needs more of an input in that as to what players he wants to be able to strengthen his team. I hate it that Conte might not hasn't even got that choice he needs to be able to pick what he wants to work with because at the end of the day it's his team he's leading it he needs to have the signings he can have um to be able to 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 succeed um Susie honey that's a big note from me I'm t team keep con a same 100% con a in all the way um Callum Conte needs the support from the board and I think without that he will leave because he's not getting the players he wants to get. If Conte isn't supported then he has every right to walk but in general terms we don't need a new manager. 100% agreed we, we don't need a new manager. Um... I'm so sorry guys, I'm just trying to find if there's any more comments. But yeah, I 100% I agree with everybody. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I as I said, you know something guys, a lot of them comments just hit the nail on the head. Couldn't have said it better. Couldn't have said it better myself at all. That amazing. Yeah, 100% agree with all you guys about, well, the Conte in comments, obviously. Um, but yeah, I a lot of you guys, well, nearly everyone was Conte in. I didn't see many Conte out comments, which is which is really good to read, I suppose, because when you're a massive Conte in fan, I suppose, it's, it's good, isn't it? Um, but yeah, but guys, thank you all so much for your comments. Let me know down below, guys, your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and up the chals. Thanks.